A big part of Yu Liu's music dream was to explore the world of films as a composer. And that was made possible in 2012 when he was offered a scholarship by NYU's Scoring for Film and Multimedia program. There, he discovered the magic of film music, and he learned how things are done here in New York City. That is, by networking and building connections. You transitioned from being a classical composer mm -hmm. to becoming a film composer here in the U.S. Why did you decide to get into film? Well, actually, uh, uh, as the same of the classical contemporary music, film music has always been my dream uh, since I was a child. Uh, like. Uh, John Williams and Joey Hisaishi and Hans Zimmer are my heroes. So uh, it's not kind of a, a sudden change uh, for myself. It's not drastically and uh, just uh, what I always aiming to do. But there are some pretty major differences mm -hmm. between sure. classical composing mm -hmm. and film composing. What are some major differences that you would... Well, the biggest difference actually is uh, in uh, classical music you have to become the leader of your own music, that's for sure. Mm -hmm. uh, but uh, on the other hand, uh, the film music, you don't have total control. Uh, the director and the producer have it. So, <clears throat> especially in some of the uh, important uh, parameters, such as the length, uh, the instrumentation, and even the, the time of changing uh, rhythm and dynamic so you have to learn to work in a secondary role in film composition so because the visual uh, is the first is the important the most important and even we're not even uh, before the sound editing the sound design like uh, we're like really like the third even fourth role in uh, in film so we have to learn how to cooperate with all the different uh, aspects in the film and all the crews around me. I was going to ask you that because to me personally, I feel like in classical films, music is such an important element, mm -hmm. but nowadays it doesn't seem as that's the case anymore. Mm -hmm. You know, music a lot of times is there as a secondary element mm -hmm. to emphasize the storyline mm -hmm. or mm -hmm. the characters. Mm -hmm. How demanding is that <clears throat> on your end? Well, film composition is different today, and uh, uh, I think the era of John Williams is really end. Uh, mm -hmm. But for me, myself, I'm still a kind of a melody writing person, so uh, I can't imagine uh, film music that I wrote without a melody, without a theme, yeah. uh, per se. So. Uh, but uh, the huge trend today is to set music as a emotional support, uh, like uh, Hans Zimmer's stuff with all those beautiful uh, percussions and all those beautiful uh, rhythmic pattern. So I have to I have to adopt them to to get my music evolved uh, by the day. So. Uh, I think the most demanding thing for me and the most uh, kind of important thing for me is to find a balance between my, uh, my between my love, the theme, and uh, the uh, reality today to to find a uh, middle point of how to combine those two elements and to create a unique sound of my own that uh, is the most demanding thing. I think. <laughs> Did you ever think that it was a problem for you that you had a classical training, that you had a classical background rather mm -hmm. than a contemporary, more contemporary, more modern training in music, in opposed, you know, in terms of getting into film composing, mm -hmm. film composition? Well, actually, I don't feel uh, bad. I feel actually, I feel blessed. If yeah. I actually have a classical trained uh, background because even though it, like with some directors ask for like rock music and mm -hmm. like just jazz music, even something uh, electronic. Yeah. S uh, the root are not changing. It's still is a classical theory. So it's it's like you plant something uh, 
the root is the most important part, and、uh, become it, it comes from the root where you can get your food and where, where you can get your production.、Yeah. So、uh, for me right now, sometimes sometimes、uh, director asks me to write something I have never done before,、uh, but I can learn them fast, which because I have a solid training of、uh, music theory and everything like that. What's your advice for finding fruitful work relationships here in New York City? Those types of relationships that you've had. Well, we have such a huge、uh, productions here in New York City.、Uh, most of them are academic films, different、mm-hmm. between here and、uh, LA. But、uh, there are not there are nothing different between these two places to get into the. Uh, industry is to networking, to networking to that, and、yeah. uh, <laughs> then I think that the only way to build up your connection and to start to really start to try to get a life in this world. Word、Number、of mouth,、yeah. networking, <laughs> meeting everyone. Yeah, yeah, especially especially meeting director and producers.、Uh, well, our musicians are tend to. Uh, we're feeling much better if we are surrounded by musicians,、yeah. because we have common, we have, we can talk about musics. And but、uh, the true thing is we have to actually get into the circle of directors and、uh, producers, and that is the place you can get your connections. You can get your.、Uh, Career perspectives. Yeah, or work out. Yeah, and finally to get a job. Yeah. <laughs>